In this video, we're going to be looking at connected particles. Okay, so let's look at this example here. We've got two particles connected, A and B, and they're on a rough plane. And you can see there's a 20 Newton force, which is probably going to make it move to the left. Now the question wants us to work out acceleration and tension. Now the way we're going to do that is we're going to look at each particle one at a time and work out the forces on each particle. So let's start with particle A. Okay, so if we're looking at particle A, we must put tension acting to the right. Now tension is the force created by the rope. Because if you think about particle A, it wants to move to the left. And the rope is not helping it, it's holding it back. So it's creating a tension force acting to the right. So here I've written R with the arrow to the left. That's just to tell the examiner that I'm resolving my forces and left is positive. And to resolve the forces, we're going to use F equals MA. Force equals mass times acceleration. Now the force is going to be the resultant of all the forces. And to start off with, we're going to look at particles A's forces. And you can see particle A has got 20 Newton to the left. And to the right, it's got tension. And it's also got a 2 Newton force to the right. And the 1 Newton is not on particle A, so we don't need to think about that. And that's all going to be equal to MA. Now remember, M is the mass, so that's simply going to be 5. So we have 20 minus tension minus 2 equals 5 times acceleration. You might have noticed that the tension and the two newtons was put as negative. And the reason being is, remember we said to the left is positive. And of course, they're acting to the right. So we put them as negative. And the 20 newtons is to the left, and you can see that was positive. Now we can do something similar for particle B. Okay, you can see I've changed the direction of tension. Because now we're looking at particle B, well, B would be sitting there still, but it's not. It's going to move. And why is it going to move? Well, it's that rope again. It's moving it to the left. So it's giving a tension force to the left. So what are all the forces on B? It's the tension we mentioned, and it's that one newton to the right. And that's all the forces we have on B. When we're looking at particle B, we don't even consider that 20 newtons or the 2 newtons because they're not actually acting on B. So let's fill in F equals MA again. So this one's really straightforward. It's just T minus 1 equals 2A. And the 2A is, of course, M times A. And the mass of B, it's 2. Now you might ask, why am I resolving to the left as positive? You could do either direction. Now I chose the left because it's moving to the left and it'll give my acceleration as positive. So what do we do next? We've got two equations now and two unknowns. And you should have said simultaneous equations. So we're going to get those two equations together. Now I suggest just adding them. And that's because you've got a minus t on one of the equations and a plus t on the other one. Adding them will simply get rid of that t straight away. And we've managed to get our acceleration. Acceleration is 17 over 7. Now we can put that back into any of the two equations to get our t. I've chosen the equation from particle b because it was just a little bit simpler. And working that out gives us tension as 24 over 7. And the units for tension would be newtons. Now, if the question only wanted you to work out acceleration, there was a slightly simpler way you could have done it. Instead of looking at them as two separate particles, you can look at them as one particle. And it means there'll be no tension in it. There will just be a force to the left of 20 newtons and a total force to the right of 3 newtons. So it'll simply be 20 minus 3 as all the forces, which will be 17. And that will be equal to ma, but your m is the mass of both particles because you're looking at them as one particle. So the mass will be 7. And if you do it that method, you'll get the same answer for acceleration. Of course, I did not do it in this case because we needed tension as well. 
in this question, we're looking at a pulley and we need to work out the acceleration of the system and also the tension in the string. Okay, so there's some forces which need to be on here, which I'm missing. Okay, to start off with, we need to put some forces on here. Now you should know that these particles definitely have a weight downwards and that's a force. The masses themselves are not forces. To work out the weight, you use the formula W equals mg. So here we've got W equals mg, m being the mass of course, and g being the gravitational acceleration. And we know that to be 9.8, but for these questions, we just leave it as g. So here we've put those forces on the diagram, the weights. Particle A, which is 3 kg, has a 3 g force downwards. And particle B, which is 2 kg, has a 2 g force downwards. We also have two more forces. They're both feeling a tension, pulling upwards. So now we've got all the forces on our diagram, we can go on to start resolving to help work out tension and acceleration. So we're gonna start by looking at particle A. Now we know particle A is going to move downwards since it's heavier, it's got a bigger weight. So we'll make downwards as positive. And particle A has got a 3G force downwards and it's got one opposing force, which is the tension. And you know tension's against it because had the tension not been there, it would have moved faster. The rope is not helping the particle, it's slowing it down. So we know tension is in the opposite direction. So we have 3G minus T, and remember, all the forces is always gonna be equal to MA. Now MA is of course the mass times acceleration. Acceleration we don't know but the mass is three kg. So we've got our first equation. Now we can do the same thing for particle B. Okay, so in particle B, I've changed my positive direction. I've made upwards my positive direction. Now, why do you think I've made upwards my positive direction for B? Now you should have said it's because B is moving upwards. Of course, if A is heavier, A is causing the pulley to move downwards in its direction, which means B will be moving upwards. So I made upwards my positive direction. Okay, so what forces has B got in the upwards direction? It's only got T, the tension. And in the opposite direction, it's got 2G. So we're going to put that as negative. And of course, that's going to be equal to MA. And the mass of our particle is two. Now we've got two equations, we can go on to do simultaneous equations to help work out tension and acceleration. Now again, one of the equations got a minus t and one's got a positive t, so we'll simply add them. And that gives us acceleration as g over five. Now we can put that back into any of the two equations to help work out tension. And you should be able to do this step simply, and you get tension as 12 over five g. And you can leave it like this, or you can put g as 9.8, it's up to you. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.